drawing regression line or trend line in SPSS. Here in data view in SPSS, I had inserted a data for 51 students. The data is in two columns or two variables. The first one is labeled as hours and the second one is labeled as mark or score. So for variable number one, represent the number of hours each individual student has studied for the exam and the mark is the percentage of the mark achieved by each individual student and it is measured from a hundred percent so for student number one he studied for 15 hours for a specific exam and he scored 95 percent in the exam and for student number 34 he studied for five hours and he achieved a 45 percent mark in the exam and to draw a regression line for these data first we have to check whether these variables are normally distributed or not and i had already did the analysis and the test and i found that both are normally distributed for further information there are more video videos or video clips on the channel to watch and to uh, download on how to check the normality of your data it's important also if we want to draw a regression line to uh, make sure that we have a data for x axis and y axis the data on the x-axis is usually the predictor and the data on the y-axis are the outcome. That's the outcome here will be the mark and the predictor will be the number of hours. So the number of, number of hours a student study for an exam will be predict the outcome to draw the regression line for this data first of all we need to draw a scatter plot the scatter plot will determine the relationship or the correlation between this set of data the strength of the relationship whether it's re linear or not and whether the uh, relationship is positive or negative positive meaning an increasing relationship if there is an increase in the hours then the mark will increase and a negative relationship mean that uh, there is a decreasing relationship so the first step is to draw the scatter plot then from the scatter plot the software will try to fit the best regression line to the data and then from the regression line a regression formula or equation is generated based on that equation it is possible to predict the outcome i.e the mark for any individual or participant or a student based on the input so whatever number of hours it is he or she studied the uh, outcome for the exam based on the data and based on the drawn regression line it will be possible to predict the uh, result for the exam so to do to do the first step in drawing a regression line first of all draw a scatter plot click on graphs scroll down to legacy scroll down to scatter plot select 
simple scatter and then click define it's very important here in this window to choose the variable carefully the predictor here is the number of hour or hours each student has studied for and the marks are the outcome that is the percentage for the exam achieved by a student and it will go into the y-axis which is the outcome if we click on titles I saw I could make a title for the plot or chart that will be generated so we'll call it hours versus mark click on continue then click on ok a chart is generated scattered plot that shows the relationship between the hours number of hours and the percentage or the mark as we can see here there is a positive and linear relationship between those two variable I'm going to do a few editing on this graph double click on the chart and then in this new window I'm going to double click on the background here to change it from gray to white a new window will appear I'm going to select the fill of white and the border also make it wide click apply and then close so we have the chart now in this presentation I'm going to increase the strength and the color of the Y axis by clicking on this axis and I'm going to use the nine and I'm going to increase the width into two and click on apply and I'm going to do the same with the X axis increasing the width into two apply close and I'm going to change the color of the circles here and the size of these circles by decreasing the size to three and filling it with dark blue uh, and also darker blue here and click on apply and the colors of this circles is changed to blue to insert a regression line click on elements scroll to fit line at total and a regression line is generated with a equation or formula regression equation or regression formula and I'm going to change the color of the line by double clicking on the line itself and then choose a red color and choose the widths into two and then click on apply and then close and I'm going to move this a little bit here up to here this is the R square and I'm going also to do a few changes here by clicking on the values for hours and I'm going to make the scales since uh, the maximum number of hours is 15 so I'm going to type 15 uh, and then apply and also I'm going to double click on this line and I'm going to lower the margin to zero click on apply so now we have here the regression line with the scatter plot so from this scatter plot or regression line it is clear that the relationship between both hours and marks are linear 
and a regression formula has been generated which is y equal to 51.01 plus 3.6 1 multiplied by x if we go back again to this here this formula or equation it's clear that the y represent the outcome and b intercept which is the value of y when x equals zero and the b1 is the gradient or the slope and the x is the predictor so from this graph and this um, regression formula it is possible to predict an outcome based on a value for x so if we have a student who studied for five and a half hours then it is possible to predict the score or the mark that he will achieve in the exam using the formula generated by the graph in this case going to type 51 for the intercept y equal 51 plus the slope is 3.6 uh, um, put the sign for multiplication x will be 5.5 hours and if we're going to use a calculator here uh, so i'm going to look for calculator and use a calculator in the calculator i'm going to type 3.6 multiply by 5.5 equal then add to that uh, 51 and that will be equivalent to 71 so that person will achieve a 71 percent mark in the exam if he only studied for 5.5 hours so this 71 percent is based on the equation and on the graph here and on the regression line that has been generated for this set of data so this is the way to draw a regression line in SPSS by drawing a scatter plot then fitting a, a regression line that best fit the data and then from that generate a regression equation or formula and that regression equation or formula can be used for predicting an outcome.